What's up guys, welcome to another market update. Wow, what a rally. It's pretty crazy how much the valuations of our portfolios have grown over the past month or so with this parabolic move. However, it's important not to get too ahead of ourselves just yet. Let's try to analyze the markets as rationally as possible. So, we're almost there, the magical level of 100,000. I've been waiting years for us to reach this milestone. Interestingly, when looking at the CME charts, we already reached 100k even if we haven't reached it in the other charts yet. Speaking of the CME, we still have that large gap down here. Now, the CME gaps are not some kind of mythical magnet guaranteeing that the price will somehow go there. Look at this gap all the way down here, for example but they do still have a pretty high chance of being filled partially due to big money not wanting to miss out on the price action and partially due to just being a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, to put the recent price action into perspective, it would take a massive $23,000 drop just to fill this gap. Interestingly, this would also be very close to a potential bullish retest of our previous 73 k top. All scenarios considered, this hypothetical scenario would still actually be a very mild and healthy drop before the bullish climb to our projected top. Now, let's look at a much more bullish scenario. First of all, even though 100k is pretty strong psychological resistance, there is absolutely nothing guaranteeing that this will be a short-term reversal point. The rally could continue a little bit or even a lot further, just like it did in our previous cycle where the price action never had any meaningful corrections until the top. As explained in our previous videos, this would mean having a very prolonged topping process to sync up with our top projection, should the periodic 4-year cycles continue. At the same time, while many of us Bitcoiners are hoping for this scenario, you still have to be mentally prepared for alternative scenarios as well, because our previous cycle was outside of the previously established norm. So, in the two other historical scenarios, the price was way lower than we currently are. In our current cycle, this would be around half the current valuation. The current power loss support bottom area is around 30 to 40k, which is technically possible, but highly unlikely to be revisited again. However, when comparing the current price action to the previous cycle, we are pretty much exactly at the point where we were back then. What happened next in our previous cycle was a bullish retest of our median line, followed by the straight line up to the initial top. So this is what you have to look out for if you're hoping for the early top scenario. In my view, it is quite unlikely that this cycle will continue to play out exactly like the previous cycle, because no other cycle has. Even the first two bubbles here had significant differences. For example, look at this ridiculous 80 plus percent crash after a mini bubble inside of a larger bull market compared to the relatively straightforward parabolic rise in 2017. I wish Bitcoin was still that volatile. It would be a dream to trade. So let's see what happens here in the short term. But before continuing to a few other things I want to point out, let's look at our power law indicators. First, to our log lock graph. So our bullish retest of our blue power law trend deviation line has now brought us to the next median trend line. We're currently slightly above it, will it find support on top of it like in our last cycle? Completely feasible if we go for the early top scenario. Now to the Bitcoin power lock clock. It is now 8.40, so only 20 minutes or a little bit over a month left until 9 o'clock. Interestingly, we're diverging even more from the red average curve line than at a similar point in the previous cycle. Let's see if this rate of growth is sustainable. Now to the detrended oscillator. All three configurations show a similar 15 to 17% upside deviation from the trend. The color is now orange, which is more common in the middle of the mania phase. The mania phase in the two first market cycles began in dark green, but the previous cycle turned orange at almost exactly the same pre-mania phase point. When drawing a trend line from our detrended oscillator relative to price, we can already speculate on some top projections. It is likely that the top will be somewhere in the high 60 to low 70 upside trend deviation area. Now to the local Hearst exponent. We're continuing our rebound from the dark green bottom. Everything looks good here so far. So here are some other things I wanted to show you guys. 
First of all, there are some pretty big RSI divergences building up on both the daily and weekly time frames, even more so on the weekly. As you can see, the RSI is currently significantly lower than for our previous high, which was at a much lower price. The same goes for the MACD. Also, the stochastic RSI is topping out as well. Don't take this as a for sure bearish signal, because even though this has a higher than 50% likelihood that we might be approaching a correction soon, these things can stay overextended for long periods of time in bull markets, or even correct while the price is still grinding to the upside. It's just a bit of a warning sign here. Also, I wanted to show you the MicroStrategy chart. Look at this parabolic blow off top with a large selling volume spike. This could be a bit of a leading indicator here, implying that things are getting slightly overheated. Finally, I wanted to show you this move index chart, which shows the volatility of the US bond market. This chart has a large degree of correlation with the US stock market, because large spikes like this often begin in times of stock market volatility, like during the COVID crash and the great financial crisis. Even this recent dip here correlated with a pretty large market crash in the S&P, which of course would make things more difficult for Bitcoin. Let's hope that the spike doesn't continue because who wants a financial crisis? Similar to Bitcoin, the S&P is also building a very prolonged divergence over here. So in conclusion, while I was showing you some good signs along with even more warning signals over here, I don't want you to panic or anything. We're still in a strong overall bull market and way ahead of schedule on our path to over 200,000. I never want to short in bull markets because that's just asking to get wrecked. Instead, I'm looking for some nice buy the dip and longing opportunities to further grow my portfolio. Perhaps some of you have a similar mentality. On the flip side, don't FOMO too much because remember that the next bear market bottom in more than two years is still projected to be at 70k or so, which is way below the current price. Now that doesn't mean that you should miss out on the epic move to over 200,000 with the nice opportunity to take some profit before our next bear market. Just don't think that you will never be able to buy below 100,000 again unless you go all in over here. Hopefully we will even get such an opportunity before our next top. By the way guys, we have a 30% Black Friday sale going on for our Lux Algo indicators for either one monthly or yearly subscription. The offer for the yearly subscription is by far the best value because it already has a 30% discount compared to the monthly. Therefore, the current sale adds another 30% on top of that. Plus, you get the discount for an entire year instead of just a month. In other words, you can get a one-year subscription for the price of less than six months. If you want to try the indicators out first, the $21 monthly offer is also a great deal. So if you've ever thought about getting all these incredibly useful power law indicators for your trading view accounts and support our work at the same time, right now is a great time to do so. Go to luxalgo.com slash btcpowerlaw and use the code btcpowerlaw when checking out to apply the discount. Just remember it has no spaces, it is all written together. The discount code will last until the 30th of November. Also, make sure to join our free Telegram group to chat with me and Giovanni. I will add the link in a pinned comment below. This is Saverio speaking, and as always, thanks for watching.